Daytona Beach, Florida is home to Hangsters Hot Rods Muscle Car and Collector Car Showroom, where we own all of our vehicles. We are not a consignment dealer. If you are watching today's presentation on YouTube, please be sure to check out our website, hangsters.com. So we can find all of our most current inventory. Our YouTube videos we never take down between both of our locations, whether they were shot five days ago or five years ago, we leave them up. <clears throat> we have thousands of subscribers that enjoy watching our content, uh, so we leave them up. However, when a vehicle is funded in full, that particular unit comes down off of our website letting you know it's sold and it's no longer available. Check us out on Instagram and Facebook as well. We will have uh, vehicles such as this one we're about to present to you on there. Uh, you know, the day they arrive, we take a, a couple quick photos, a couple quick videos maybe, depending on the car or truck, and uh, we put them on there. And a lot of people call and visit our showroom prior to the vehicles ever going through our uh, complete marketing campaign. We saw a lot of vehicles before they ever make our website. Uh, so if you are in the market for a specific gear making model, you might be able to get a head start there. Also, we have links there to our gift shop here in Daytona, where you can buy hangsters, hats, t-shirts, all different types of apparel, uh, banners, all kinds of cool garage signs and flags uh, to outfit your man cave, your garage, or wherever you might keep your classic car collection or memorabilia. So check that out as well. We ship it all over the United States. Beautiful truck to present to you today. 1969 uh, GMC Sierra. It does have a 350 crate motor. Um, I'll show you a couple receipts here in a couple minutes. Uh, I don't know when the uh, motor was actually purchased, but I'm going to venture to say somewhere in the neighborhood of 2013, and I don't know how many miles have been put on it. You can see it has a chrome uh, master cylinder and a chrome brake booster, so power brakes. Uh, it does have a power steering reservoir down here, so it does have power steering. Also, AC. AC compressor, it does have vintage air in the truck. So you have a 350 crate motor, steering, brakes, and air. <clears throat> Let's show you what else this truck has going for it. It's red. Of course, red with white stripes, white top. Uh, chrome front grille, GMC. Absolutely fantastic condition on the uh, chrome in the front. Uh, chrome front bumper, chrome grille. Everything's in uh, immaculate condition. They both look to be newer. There are a ton of receipts on this car from Summit, from Jags, from Ecklers, from you name it. Um, you'll get the entire book with the truck. Paint on the truck is fantastic. Uh, I don't know when it was painted. I didn't go through every last receipt. There's probably 125 receipts, I don't know, some ridiculous amount of receipts. Uh, I did thumb through them real quick. There are many, many parts receipts in there, a couple uh, receipts from Finish Masters for paint, um, but uh, the, the paint's definitely a real, real nice, high quality paint job. I didn't see any receipts from any body shops though. Uh, paint on the hood uh, is in fantastic condition, does have a cowl induction uh, emblem there on the hood. <clears throat> you have Bridgestone radials on the uh, truck then the uh, rally wheels gives the truck a nice, uh, nice look. Front windshield looks to be in good condition. I don't see anything chipped. I don't see anything cracked. Does have a dual set of chrome mirrors mounted on the uh, doors. One on the driver, one on the passenger. Door fitment on the truck is fantastic. Uh, to the uh, lower cab corner there, down low on the rocker. Uh, driver door fits nice and tight. Look at how the uh, chrome wheel opening moldings accent the, the tires on the truck, both front and back. It's, the truck has a really super uh, awesome look to it. Let's take a look at the interior. Uh, red and white seats, uh, red and white black door panels, uh, armrest does have a little tiny tear in it right there. Um, white uh, vinyl door panel there with an SS logo. Uh, crank out vent window, crank, uh, I'm sorry, crank down window, pull out vent window there. Uh, it has the uh, steering wheel, uh, looks to be in good shape, not all cracked up. Looks like, a, looks like an Impala steering wheel. A real nice uh, full size steering wheel though. Uh, bench, seat, vinyl interior, uh, white inlay with the uh, red outskirts. Uh, accents there. 
Uh, it does have like an armrest type centerpiece there uh, with cup holders in it that just simply sets there. Uh, it's not part of the actual bench seat or anything. Uh, it does have seat belts. Uh, all of your, uh, you have upgraded gauges. We'll take a look at those on the test drive. Uh, dash pad looks to be in good shape. Black carpeting. Uh, the carpeting's newer. Check that out. Does have a B&M floor shifter. I was telling you earlier about the uh, receipts. <laughs> so now these are not just one page deals. You know, there's like five or six receipts in every single slot. You know, it's like, it's heavily documented. I mean, look at those receipts, Napa, O'Reilly's, Classic Industries. Uh, again, this is not just a single receipt in here. There's like four or five receipts in every single one of these uh, these plastic little sleeves here. It's pretty uh, remarkable. So definitely um, some money spent on the truck. You get those receipts. And then these are like the manuals for you know, you know, vintage air system, uh, carburetor, uh, radio, things like that. So that will come with the truck. How about the uh, rear window? Uh, solid rear window, uh, no slider. Uh, black gasket around the uh, rear windshield looks to be in uh, good shape. Wood bed. This is not one you uh, take to Home Depot to pick up rocks or mulch. This is, uh, you know, a, a, a real high quality uh, truck. Got your uh, chrome slats there in the center of the uh, wood. Gives the truck a real nice look. Uh, bed side of the truck's real nice and straight. Uh, I forgot to mention, here's your filler neck for your gas cap, I'm, or your uh, gas. I'm sure you guys figured that out already. Uh, Super Sport there. Um, you know, somebody just put that on there, you know, like the SS is on the doors and the Super Sport there on the bed side. Uh, but uh, again, gives the truck a real nice look. Uh, bed side's nice and straight. Driver doors is nice and straight. The uh, front fender, every, all the body lines line up real nice. Chrome rear bumper, same as the front bumper, looks newer. Uh, beautiful uh, GMC uh, there. You know, you see a lot of Chevys, not so many GMCs. The uh, GMC is definitely a nice uh, look. This, this truck has a good look to it. Uh, that has a chrome piece across the top of the uh, tailgate there. Uh, there is a little, like, I don't know, imperfection there right above the uh, pull handle, it looks like it got chipped, the paint got chipped or something. So hopefully you guys can see that in the video and in the still photos. Uh, all the chrome accents and the uh, rear valance there on the uh, tailgate, everything looks to be in good shape. You know, this is black here. Uh, it's not worn out, faded. <clears throat> Open up the tailgate for you just so you can see, um, you know, your paint on the uh, end of the bed. You can see that there's not any uh, rust holes, rot holes there. Somebody was uh, smart enough to put like a uh, chrome cap there on the end of your uh, bed so that if you do slide something in or out of there, you don't chip up the wood. Uh, the uh, back of the tailgate itself is in pretty, pretty good shape. You can see your uh, inner workings of where your tailgate closes there. Uh, no rust, no rot, it's all nicely painted. Uh, tops of the uh, wheel wells there inside the bed, uh, you know, nice paint. Nice paint on the inner bed and on, of course on the back of the bed there and then of uh, your, your wood inlay there again with your chrome slats. Taking a look down the uh, passenger side of the truck, uh, same thing, the uh, bed side's real nice and straight. You do have those uh, Super Sport logos there on the uh, passenger side of the bed as well. Uh, chrome exhaust tip that comes out underneath the uh, bed side. Uh, on the passenger side behind the rear wheel. Uh, the chrome, op the, again, those chrome wheel opening moldings are like, uh, you know, nothing I've ever seen. It's a real uh, sharp uh, look to the truck on the, uh, on the bed side. Let's take a look in the passenger side of the truck. Uh, same thing as the driver's side. You have uh, painted top of the door here. Uh, you have white vinyl in the center. SS cap, uh, door handle, window crank, black carpeting at the bottom. Uh, the passenger side bench seat, again, looks like newer uh, material. 
Check out the chrome on your uh, drip rail moldings. They look brand new. Uh, and then of course you got your white cap top, which uh, gives the truck a nice offset with the red and uh, the wood bed and the chrome accents on the wheel opening moldings. Again, just a real sharp looking truck. I like the uh, mirrors too. The mirrors are kind of a cool uh, deal there on the uh, driver and passenger side door. I haven't seen anything on the uh, truck in terms of paint that I really need to show you. All the paint, uh, you know, just like all of our cars, it's a driver quality paint job, but I don't see anything in the paint that I need to really point out that's an issue. Uh, paint on the uh, passenger side front fender is just like the rest of the truck, just like the bedside, just like the uh, doors. It's, an, it's an, a real nice paint job, real high quality uh, paint on the vehicle. <clears throat> Let's take it around back, check out the undercarriage, and then shortly after that, we'll do a little test drive. I definitely encourage you, if you are in the market for a 69 uh, GMC pickup, to visit us here in Daytona Beach. Do not buy the vehicle sight unseen. Uh, we definitely encourage you guys, especially if this is your first classic car purchase, to come visit us here in Daytona. We'll let you pull this truck outside. We'll let you put it in the air and check out the undercarriage, bottom of the motor, bottom of the transmission, suspension components, just like we're gonna do here in a couple minutes. We'll let you take it out on a test drive, see if that vintage air system blows cold. Uh, we'll let you see how the uh, vehicle performs from a steering standpoint, braking, um, you know, how it rides, whether there's any uh, kind of drivetrain vibration, tire vibration, so on and so forth. We do all of that in our video presentations. Uh, this is because we do the majority of our business sight unseen. Even though I shoot four or five of these videos every single week and I encourage buyers to come in person, uh, people continuously spend 40, 50, 60, $100,000 on cars uh, sight unseen. We do the best job we possibly can representing each one of our vehicles as honestly and as accurately as we possibly can by taking 90 to 100 photographs, doing these video presentations, providing you with an in-depth description on our website, answering any questions we can over email, through text message, over the phone uh, to try to uh, sell you one of our classic cars without you actually having to fly or drive to Florida. But again, nobody's a better judge of how to spend your hard-earned dollar than you are. This is why we encourage you guys to come in person and check it out for yourself. Don't just take our word for it. We're going to go around the building, see which racks open out back. We'll throw this uh, 69 GMC in the air, and then shortly after that, we will do a little test drive. Underneath our 1969 GMC, disc brakes up front. You got this huge cross member in my way of the uh, front of the motor. Can see a little bit of the front seal here. Um, you know, everything looks good up there, looks nice and dry. Uh, going to the back, uh, looks like a brand new starter. I showed you guys a lot of uh, receipts in the showroom. There might be one in there for a starter because that thing looks friggin' new. Uh, look at the driver's side, I'm sorry, passenger side. I don't know which side I'm on. Uh, passenger side of the oil pan. Uh, driver's side is a little more visible. Looks nice and dry at this time. Uh, headers. Uh, don't appear to have any oil splatter on them. How's the trans pan look? Looks good. Turbo 400. Cross member supporting the tranny looks to be in good shape. Speedo cable appears to be dry. Tail shaft seal appears to be dry. You know, when I stand underneath these vehicles and I do these undercarriage presentations and I point out all these spots that are dry, I can assure you there will be oil leaks, tranny leaks, power steering leaks. These are old cars. It's the nature of the beast. It will happen. You know, there's a difference between a leak, you know, a, a 10 inch diameter puddle of oil in your driveway or your garage versus a couple spots. You will have spots from time to time, especially those of you up north where the car or truck sits for a little while. So do not expect that your garage floor, or, uh, you know, driveway or wherever you're keeping your classic is going to be dry at all times. Um, floor pans in the uh, truck look good. I'm going to show you here in a couple minutes uh, why uh, this uh, truck is another good buy. Uh, the dual exhaust here looks to be in good shape. Uh, the welds look good coming down off the headers. Uh, it does have a uh, Dynomax system on it, uh, dual mufflers on either side of the drive shaft. The uh, cross member that encompasses the uh, drive shaft looks to be in good shape. No rust holes, rot holes there. 
So, take a look up at that bed. Looks like a brand new bed on the truck. Maybe the other one, uh, you know, had some issues. So whoever restored this truck, put a brand new bed on it. Again, might be part of those uh, receipts I showed you earlier. Frame rails on the truck look good. Uh, driver and passenger side. Going up over the rear end there. Uh, big, huge drum brakes on the rear. Twelve bolt rear. All your cross members that run across here look good uh, from frame rail to frame rail. The backs of the frame rails look good. I uh, showed you the exhaust in the showroom. You've got turn downs there uh, coming off of your pipes, uh, going pointing down at the uh, ground. Uh, tread on the tires look good. Uh, they're not dry rotted, and uh, the wear bars are way down there, uh, so the, uh, the tread on the uh, tires are good as well. It's a beautiful 1969 GMC. We're going to set it on the ground, we're going to take it on a test drive, but before we do so, I just want to discuss some payment options with you guys. First of all, if you're paying cash, we accept cashier's check from your bank and bank wire transfer. Since the majority of our business is done sight unseen, bank wire transfer is the most common method of payment. Um, typically it's there, same business day, as long as it's done early enough in the day, and then we can start preparing your vehicle for shipment that much earlier. If you're financing, that's fine. The collector car lenders we work with will do up to a 10-year loan on our classic cars. So with approval, you have to put 10% down minimum. I don't care if your credit score is 9 million, uh, you're gonna have to put 10% down minimum. And then the remaining balance over that five to 10-year period, whatever it is you get approved for. Let's say you get approved for an eight-year loan on this truck. Can you pay it off in two because you're selling it, because you came in this, uh, an inheritance, uh, cash in a 401k, whatever the case may be. They aren't going to ding you for paying the truck off early, uh, which makes it really nice to own one of these classic cars as well, that there's no prepayment penalty on them. Once the vehicle is funded in full, we put it through a pre-delivery inspection process. This process is done in the order that the cars are funded. So there might be two or three in front of yours. There might be five or six in front of yours, depending on what we sell that week, hopefully more than less. Uh, once the guys tell me it's good to go and it's through inspection, we go ahead and we call a carrier for pickup if we're the ones handling the shipping. Typically, we can have a truck here within 48 hours if it's a more popular destination. Uh, if, it's a more if it is a more remote area, it might take us three, four, five, six business days, uh, but we will get you your vehicle as soon as possible. I do promise you that. And of course, if you're the one picking it up, you're driving it home or you're uh, trailering it home, we'll let you know when it's ready and you can come get it. Let's set this 69 GMC down on the ground. I haven't had a chance to take this truck out on the road yet. Um, so we'll check that air, see if it works. We'll see how the truck runs out and uh, we'll do that right now. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, we're going to turn on our EC because the windows are up and it's hot outside. So, all the way over. We have our vintage air and it's blown cold. Awesome. How about a horn? Turn signals. Driver, passenger, tilt wheel, uh, let's see here, temp, we'll see if that comes up, fuel, that's working, battery voltage on the uh, side of the steering wheel here, 14 volts. Uh, oil pressure, 75 pounds oil pressure, tack, clock's ticking, 1,673 miles on the odometer, that could be since the uh, engine's been put in, I don't know, wipers, okay, what haven't I shown you, um, oh, radio, course now I can tell you it was working so let me just figure out how to get where I need to go oh, that's base in trouble uh, USB play there we go Bing. Bing, bing. 
Okay, so we got tunes. Here's that stack of receipts that comes with the truck. I told you the uh, center thing here just sits on the seat. Seat's in nice shape. Uh, turn the radio off. b &M shifter in the floor. Temp gauge is coming up as we're sitting here talking. Kind of a, I guess a leather headliner, kind of nice. Gives the truck a nice accent on the inside. Solid rear window, like I said, in the showroom. Good stuff. Let's drive it. This thing has some power. Even though it's a 350, uh, it'll get it done. So let's drive. Okie dokie. We are trucking. Ice cold AC. Let go to wheel the car, or truck, I guess I should say. Tracks perfectly straight. Response in the wheel is fantastic. Speedometer's functioning. It's got a tiny bit of flutter to the uh, arm there, but nothing uh, tremendous or out of line. Tax working. Truck has good acceleration. Nice. Our operating temperature is right where it should be for a 350. It's a nice truck. You wouldn't believe how many people I have coming to our dealership that either trade in their trucks to us. Some of them we do put on the website, some of them we wholesale. Uh, to get into something like this that doesn't have that, you can still drive it and it's still functional, but it doesn't have that depreciation factor. It still has that cool look to it. You know, they'd rather spend 30, 40 grand on a truck than 70, 80 grand on a truck and take a, you know, 15, 20 thousand dollars loss in two years when you get bored with it and want to sell it. Brakes, by the way, check it out. All right, you want to give this thing some gas? Or 70. As you can see, I'm catching up to traffic in front of me. This thing will smoke the tires out of a, you know, I didn't mash the throttle. I know what kind of power that uh, it puts to the rear wheels. So uh, I'll show you that maybe up here or something when we take the corner. But uh, phenomenal truck, uh, red, white stripes, towel induction hood. It's got a great look to it. Paint on the truck's real nice. Steering brakes and air. You got a functional radio that works. Uh, awesome wood in the bed, you know, again, not a truck you're going to use to work with. It's a truck you're going to take to shows. You can use it as a daily driver. I mean, it has all the, uh, you know, luxuries that we're used to with the air, with the steering, with the brakes, um, radial tires. And it's a GMC. Like I said, the uh, GMCs aren't as common as the Chevys are. You see a lot of Chevy C10s, not as many GMCs. Anyhow, <laughs> they're making faces at us. Anyhow, uh, this is available at Hankster's Hot Rods in Daytona Beach. 386-944-9219 is our contact phone. Hankster's.com is our website. This air is fantastic. Love it. Cold. We need it on a day like today, too. Hankster's.com is our website. Uh, we're going to put all the photos we took of this truck up on the website today along with this video presentation you're watching right now. For retail price, this truck does include shipping in the lower 48 United States. It also includes a powertrain warranty that covers internal components of the engine, transmission, and rear end. The price of the truck is somewhat negotiable. However, if we negotiate the price of the truck, the warranty comes off. It's good at full retail price only. Also, the shipping comes off. We ship on an enclosed carrier. We handle the process, we call the driver, we make the check, we track the shipment. Um, at a negotiated price, you're going to do all that. We can turn you on to a shipping company that can help you out. Uh, you're just going to make all the arrangements, pay the driver, all that fun stuff. By the way, they take uh, cash and check, they do not accept credit card. Watch me scare the crap out of these people on the corner. Well, they can get them loose, but it'll do it. This thing is fast as hell. Back to what I was saying. 
Uh, the price of the truck is negotiable. You know, you're just gonna pay the shipping. Of course, if you are a collector, maybe you have your own uh, enclosed carrier, open carrier, you wanna come uh, trailer the truck home, you can certainly do that. We don't make any money off the shipping. We don't mark it up. We simply provide it as a convenience. Also, um, if you're local to us here in the Sunshine State, Central Florida, or maybe you're over in Tampa, Sarasota, Bradenton, uh, you know, we've had many customers on the west coast of Florida there uh, come drive vehicles home from our showroom. But if you're uh, Jacksonville, Melbourne, St. Augustine, uh, Orlando, you know, you're more than welcome to come drive this fine 1969 GMC truck home. Uh, it'll, do, uh, it'll do it, no problem. We would love to earn your business, add you to our uh, growing customer base, not only throughout the United States, but throughout the entire world. Yes, we do export these vehicles, uh, so we can handle that whole process for you from start to finish. If you are over in Australia, New Zealand, Switzerland, Sweden, uh, Germany, France, uh, we, can, we can get it all done if you don't have your own exporter. Once again, Hangsters Hot Rods is located in sunny Daytona Beach, Florida, and our website is hangsters.com. Check us out. I don't think this 1969 GMC Sierra will last very long, so if you are interested in a fantastic pickup truck, please uh, pick up the phone and give us a call or make an inquiry on our website. One last time, hangsters.com. Check us out.